Hi guys and welcome to this week's video from Bite Size Excel. Today we're going to take a look at the sort and the sort by functions, which are two of the new dynamic array functions which are introduced in Excel 2019. And they're both very simple to use. The main difference between the two is that with sort, you need to include what you're sorting by within your array that you're sorting. With sort by, it doesn't need to be included. So to show a very simple example of this, we're going to start with sort. What we want to do is we want to sort this table here, our entire table, by the salary. So what we're going to do is we're going to type sort, open our brackets, and we're going to select our array. Now if you were to select no other parameters, it would sort by your first column in ascending order. But in this instance, we want to sort by our salary, so we'll put in a comma. And what we want to do is we want to sort it by this salary column. Now the sort index, in a similar way to how VLOOKUP used to work, this is the reference of the column number that you want to sort by. So in this instance, it's one, two, three, four, five. So we'll put in a five here. We don't have to put in any more parameters. If we left it this way, it would sort ascending by salary. But if we put a comma in again, you can either choose ascending or descending. I'm going to leave it as ascending for now and hit enter. And you'll see that it's now returned my entire data set, but it's actually just sorted it by salary in ascending order. Now with this function, you can also sort by multiple columns. So if we come back to our first cell, which has our function in it, if we come to our source index, we can actually add additional columns in that we want to sort by. And to do this, we open some curly brackets and say I want to also sort by team, but I want team to come first. I'm going to put column four in, separate them by a bracket and then close my curly brackets. So what this means is I want to sort by column four and then by column five. And if I hit enter, you'll see it now goes from team one down to team five, and my salary is then in ascending order, but by team. And I could change this if I wanted to. So going back to that first column, say I wanted to instead sort by manager, I could change that to a three instead of a four. And now you can see it's sorting by manager. Now say I didn't want my entire data set back. Say I just wanted my employees listed, but sorted by salary, but I don't want that data in the result that's being returned. For this, I'd use my sort by function. So in a similar way to sort, we start with sort by. We're going to select our array. In this instance, I only want the employee return, so I'm just going to select that column. Then comes the array that I want to sort by. And in this instance, we're just going to select that entire array. And if I want my results again in ascending order, I'll leave my one in and hit enter. And we've got our employees now with the salaries in ascending order. So if I were to come back to my original sort and just select by column five, we can check that. You can see that we have it in ascending order. With sort, you can also add in your additional parameters, similar to how we did before. And the order they appear in is the order they will sort by. So say again, I want to add in that we have our manager and we want that sorted, sorted in ascending order and then salary and hit enter, we get our results similar to how we had them earlier. So if we add that back in, you can see that that's correct. You'll now you'll notice with sort, both the manager and the salaries are both in ascending order as I put it in. The benefit of sort by is that you can have each parameter sorted in a different way. So I say I want to buy manager, but my salaries in descending order, I change this to minus one, and you get your employees in a different order. I could also change my original source, say I wanted to have my employee and my manager included. You could again then get that to return in that way. So that's a really quick introduction to source and sort by. The dynamic array functions are really useful to create more interactive and dynamic dashboards. I do hope that you found this video useful. As always, if you've got any questions, please do leave me a comment. Remember to like and subscribe, and I do look forward to seeing you in the next video.